Hi, did you have a nice week? It is the season of raspberries. So today, I'm gonna make cheese veggie pork cutlet with tiger prawn served with raspberry sauce. I bought a black tiger prawn on sale a few weeks ago and took it out from the freezer. So big, right? It's perfect for today's ingredient. First, take off its head and peel it. Be sure to take two small tails off above bigger ones, otherwise you can be hurt when frying because they contain water. Cut open the upper back part and remove the dirty intestine and wash. I prepared all ingredients and cut veggies into small pieces. First, let me make tartar sauce. Put 3 tablespoons of minced onion into a bowl. Then, add 2 tablespoons of minced cucumber pickles, half tablespoon of honey, 1 tablespoon of oligo sugar. Add 1 tablespoon of lemon liquid together with half tablespoon of minced lemon peel and black pepper. Add 6 tablespoons of mayonnaise and mix. Taste is blend, so add a little salt, then it's done. Now put the raspberries in a strainer and crush them with a fork. Combine the crushed raspberries with half of tartar sauce, then raspberry sauce is done. Two kinds of sauce are made simply like this. Now place the pork on a cutting board. Oh, pork is so thick that I had to work hard like this to make it thinner. When it is done, season it with salt, black pepper, and cooking wine. But the cuts of this process were skipped. Now place 6 pieces of perola leaves on the pork and place 4 pieces of mozzarella cheese on them and another piece down. Place lightly cooked and chopped carrots, chopped onion, chopped perola leaves, and corn on the cheese. Place a piece of cheese on the veggies and fold the pork to the point to veggies. Push in the sides of pork and fold the rest parts of the pork. Push in both sides of pork and block them up. Wrap it and put it in the refrigerator for a while to keep in shape. Season the prawn with a little salt and pepper. Beat two eggs with a little salt. Mix all chopped carrot, onion, perilla leaf, and hot green pepper with bread crumb. Now, cook the prawn with a mix of flour and starch powder and coat with egg and bread crumbs in order. Press the prawn with fingers to be coated well with bread Coat the pork taken out from the refrigerator in the same order. Press it down to be coated well with bread crumbs.
Now, let me fry the prawn and pork in heated cooking oil. Turn over when edges become light brown. Pork is so thick that it needs time to be cooked, but the prawn seems to have been cooked already. Mmm, the prawn looks good. I'll transfer the prawn first. I should have used a deep frying pan. It is so thick that I'll cook the size too. However, if you use a deep frying pan, it'll be easy. After turning over a few times, it's done. Let me cut and see if it is fried well. Wow, it's really thick and full inside. So colorful. The prawn looks so crunch that I can't wait to taste it. Let me taste the prawn first. It is firm and feels like a lobster. And see veggies on outside? It was fried really crispy. Put some raspberry sauce. Wow! Tastes like a lobster, really. It's crispy, fresh from veggies, fragrant from raspberry, and cool from the ocean. Perfect combination. One more bite. Plump and savory shrimp fry with raspberry sauce. I recommend it strongly. Oh, I should taste the main pork cutlet. But I'm afraid that the taste might be ruined because of the shrimp. Look, it is full of thick mint and layers of fragrant protola leaves surrounding cheese. Dip into tartar sauce and have a bite. Mmm, the sauce and cheese taste similar, so way too greasy. So this time, I'll dip it into raspberry sauce. Mmm. It is much better as the sweet and fresh raspberry taste removes the greasiness. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with pork cutlet with mulberry. Please subscribe.